This is the Just Believe Show. Today's episode, I wanted to talk about what is 988. Why is it so important to understand? So 988 is essentially the suicide prevention and crisis lifeline number. So for those who are struggling, it's just three easy digits that you can just call 988. And this is only in the U.S. So for my international listeners, unfortunately, this doesn't apply to you. Not yet. I know help is on the way. You may wonder, 988, well, what about the old suicide prevention lifeline number? 800-273-8255. That is so active, believe it or not. Along the lines, I'm pretty sure they might might just get rid of it because 988 is so easy. It's very similar to like 911, right? When we call for emergency, everybody knows call 911. It's easy to remember, you know, when you come to the old number of the suicide prevention lifeline number, you know, people know it from 1-800-273-TALK. And that's, that's kind of hard to, to remember if you're not in the loop, at least this one, if you're out of the loop, you heard 988, you're like, oh, hey, that, I, I believe that's the, the suicide lifeline number or the crisis lifeline number. And that's why I like it. It's something that is good for those who are skeptical about it and just like, oh, well, what is it? These are trained mental health professionals that can help guide you during your crisis or challenge whatever situation that you're going through or even distress. How about that? And for myself, I'm a big advocate for it because when I was going through my mental health challenge, that That was something that I used. I used the Suicide Prevention Lifeline number to help navigate me to figure out what am I doing here? I want it in my life and I don't know why, you know, I'm not feeling happy. I'm really feeling sad. And for the trained professional crisis counselor, she, you know, talked to me and listened, right? So the first time I had someone in a while that I did not know that was a stranger that actually like, cared about what I was going through and not only care, but actually say, hey, this sounds like depression. And if you are thinking about hurting yourself, you should look into a behavioral health center. I had no idea what that was, right? What is that? And for her to take her time, talk to me and break it down. Hey, this is what they do. They sit down and they monitor you to make sure you are okay. They try to get to the root of the problem because you don't deserve to die by suicide. And that was the thing that saved my life. So I'm going to be a massive advocate for numbers like this. Now that we fast forward a year later and we see just three simple numbers that we can call, that we can help us during our our mental health challenges and and crisis. So it's something that I love. This number is always going to be, it's always going to be an open line. It's not going to be a busy sign. Nobody's going to put you on hold. They're going to be right there to take care of your needs, which is one of the biggest things that I love, no matter what time is 24 hours open seven days a week. And they're slowly trying to make sure they guide you in a direction where you can be the best version of yourself. They want to see that. They don't want to see you struggling and, and, and in your life or even, you know, try to end someone else's life. So this is what I love about it. I'm hoping that, with this 988 number, if there's someone that you love or that you know that is going through a mental health challenge, you can call and they can guide you to that, right? We only called 911. We didn't know what to do. And I'm hoping that people use this number for mental health challenges to navigate during that, during that time of need, right? Sometimes people call the police and when you call the police, they, they may not be trained to man- handle someone who are going through a mental health challenge. They may not know how to talk to them or try to understand like, hey, are they trying to attack me or they're really struggling? It's hard to tell. So hopefully that this number can help out and alleviate the pressure from, from 911 and, and, and whatnot. Now, people may be skeptical. That's on the fence. That's like, hey, I'm struggling mentally, but I don't want them to release my information. They don't. That's that's one of the, the the great things about it. They don't sit there and they're not going to release it and say, oh, hey, today Herbie Mack called. Let me post this on a gram or let me post this on TikTok. They're not going to do anything like that. It's very private, very intimate. This is what I love, right? It's a one-on-one of talking to 
you and having empathy and trying to understand how can they help you. They're not going to release your information. They're not going to dock it and say, hey, we got to post this on, on you know, your public records or anything like that. No, they, they don't do that. That's one of the, the great things about it. And I hope that people understand that. I hope they don't just sit back and just say, hey, you know, it's Monday night. I'm bored. I need someone to talk to. And I just want to talk, right? Not really going through a mental health challenge or anything like that. Just doing it for, just to do it. And I hope people don't use it at that point. Like they're not there to really be your friends. They're not there to say, hey, I love you. I'm going to be here for you forever or anything like that. They're really there to try to figure out how they can support you and navigate you to the, the help that you need. So that's that's something that I love about it. You know, looking back on, like not even looking back, but actually looking at my social media, I have, and I'm glad to say friends that are social workers, counselors, uh, therapists, psychotherapists, and seeing them actually advocate for this number, right? And it's not just like, hey, where we, you know, use this when you can't find, no, it's just like, hey, they're trying to make aware of, hey, this is help. You may not be able to connect with me or book a session with me or, you know, slide in my DMs or, or, or comment and I can't get back at you and you are in a time of need. Don't be scared to dial 988. This can actually help you. And that's what I love about it, right? Because when it comes to mental health challenges and mental health crisis, it's not a black, white, green, purple, orange thing. It's actually a human thing. People are struggling mentally, right? Going through their mental health challenges. And this is what this number is here for, right? This is why they're providing easier access, way to remember it, simple three digits that you can just hit up anytime. And you don't even have to call. That's one of the things that I do like about it. It's like, you don't have to sit there and say, hey, you know, maybe you may be in a situation where you don't want to talk. You can actually just text. And these guys will respond and give you a good reaction. So that's what I love about it. And don't, look, we just got to normalize mental health. Don't sit there and feel ashamed that you have to call, you know, 988. I had to call the suicide prevention lifeline number. I wasn't ashamed. I didn't care if anybody found out about it, to be honest with you. I just wanted to understand why do I want it in my life? And how can I get out of this rock bottom, right? Hopefully they can help me out. And they actually did. This number really saved my life, right? I was in a, I was in a crisis. And this is why it's so important to spread awareness of this. No one deserves to die by suicide. And we can't prevent it. So that being said, don't be scared to use this number. Peace out. Till next time.